You know, you talk about mobility. So mm. I want to bring it back round to an issue that's very close to your heart and something you've been championing mm. in Singapore. And that really is um, the vision to achieve a car light Singapore as set out in our Singapore Sustainable mm. Blueprint. Um, and you speak of a Singapore that is people-centred instead of car-centred. Mm. And this requires a paradigm shift, right, in how we mm. view urban planning, which has always been quite car-centred mm. in you know the past decades of Singapore's development. So what do you think needs to change and yeah. what is your view about the progress on this Car Free yeah. Sunday initiative? Yeah. Well, so again, I, I don't think it's the case that we have been car-centred and not people-centred in the past. Uh, so one, I mean, I've, I've said this in Parliament when I was explaining that if you look at the way we have developed right, our urban plans from the start, there was a very deliberate effort to put people at the centre of our urban plans. And one very good example of this, one concrete evidence of this is the way we made great efforts to ensure that we continue to become, to, to stay as a green city or in fact to become a clean and green city because we were not a clean and green city when it started out but we made great efforts to do that to be, and precisely because we were people-centred and we wanted people to enjoy, everyone to enjoy a uh, good clean and green environment in Singapore. That's one example of it. And even the fact that we have um, sort of cars moving quite smoothly in Singapore, we avoided the congestions that you see in many other major cities. That was precisely to make it people-centric, so that you will not end up, when you want to travel, mm. either by bus, public transport, taxis, or mm -hmm. by private cars, mm -hmm. you will not end up with traffic gridlock mm -hmm. that you see in almost other, many other mm -hmm. cities in the world. Mm. And we did that deliberately mm. through car ownership and usage restraints. Mm. But some people argue that it's too easy, right, to drive cars in Singapore. Ah, and that's why it's difficult so, to make that transition. So, in a way, you could say that because we have succeeded, mm -hmm. there is less of a pressure mm. now to move towards car light. Mm -hmm. Unlike in other cities, mm -hmm. where because of the gridlock and congestion, so that becomes a push. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure that, th because if you, if, you, if you take that to its logical consequence, it means that then perhaps we should allow congestion to build up to such mm -hmm. a bad extent that then maybe later down the road there'll be a clamour for car light. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure th that's a path we want to go. Uh, okay. right? we, I think we succeeded in, be because we were people-centric, we succeeded in avoiding the problems of congestion and gridlock. Mm -hmm. And I think our, in our next phase, we should continue to be people-centric, but it's really about different areas of emphasis. So one area of emphasis is uh, pushing for further enhancements in public transport, mm -hmm. which we are doing through mm -hmm. our... Uh, MRT lines and our investments in new MRT lines, our investments in buses. Mm -hmm. So that's already going to happen and I think there will be a major transformation in the next 10 years in our okay. public transport network. Mm -hmm. Then we have to think about bridging the last mile and first mile connections. Mm. Because even if this is done with, with very con extensive MRT lines, there will still be you know, first mile, last mile gaps that mm -hmm. need to be bridged. And in the past, we used to talk about park and ride, mm -hmm. right? I think in the new paradigm, pr you probably shouldn't park and ride if there's an MRT station like 400 meters from you, mm -hmm. but there will be different ways of getting there mm -hmm. through potentially people mover systems, mm -hmm. autonomous vehicles in the long term, mm -hmm. if these uh, technologies become developed, mm -hmm. but also maybe just by more convenient ways of getting to um, the MRT station, mm -hmm. be it through by walking or mm -hmm. by cycling or by um, taking a PMD, a, P a personal mobility device. Mm -hmm. And we can provide infrastructure to make that convenient mm -hmm. and comfortable. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's first mile, last, last mile, which we are looking to enhance. Mm -hmm. Even the connections between our buildings, mm -hmm. um, the connections underground, they can allow for more walkability mm -hmm. and more easy access from mm -hmm. place to place. Mm -hmm. So I think that's another thing that we are looking at. And then thirdly, it's about street design. Mm -hmm. I, I think our street design can be enhanced to mm. also um, allow for better walkability, mm -hmm. a better human experience. And, and when you, you're walking on the streets, that sense of human scale, you know, mm -hmm. looking around you. And that, that, that gets into a very micro level of urban design, mm -hmm. but I think it's something worth paying more attention to. Mm -hmm. We do that quite well in our city, mm -hmm. But I think we can also do that better all over Singapore. Mm -hmm. right? How we design streets, 
how how wide are the sidewalks so that it's comfortable to walk, mm -hmm. how much we allocate to people to cycle and to use PMDs. Mm -hmm. um, and that's the human experience. Mm. Uh, and I think if we can do that well, then that whole walking experience, and also, of course, the comfort level because of our climate. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. people always say it's too hot in Singapore to walk. Mm. I'll, I'll rather go into the shopping mall or I'd rather go into the MRT, but I just don't want to walk because it's too hot. Mm -hmm. But I think there are ways in which we can, through research, through plantings, through trees, through landscaping, make it a pleasant experience as well. Mm. Right? So, so street design becomes important and mm -hmm. that's something that um, I've asked URA and HDB to pay more attention to mm -hmm. and, I, and they, they agree. Mm -hmm. It's something that we want to focus on as well. Okay.